Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy and today I have a very special video for you guys. It's this guy right here. This is a retail AMD RX Vega. This one happens to be a MSI one and this is obviously the Vega 64. So let's jump right into it then because this is a very exciting GPU and if this video looks rushed, uh, <laughs> That's because it is. I only have this GPU uh, who Playtech were very nice to lend to me for less than 24 hours. So we're really going to have to get through this because obviously I want to do the benchmarking and there's going to be a great showdown coming up this weekend. So open it up the top there and pull it out. Let's see what it comes with. So of course uh, this is the one you'll get if you purchase this graphics card. Um, this is the box you'll get. The reviewers obviously got those huge reviewer boxes, so this one's a bit different. So let's first look at the accessories here. Now this may be different depending on which company's uh, Vega you buy. Obviously this is the MSI one, so maybe the packaging will be slightly different. So on the top here we have uh, this MSI. Let's have a look inside. I actually have no idea what's in this. This is my first time opening all this up, like usual. Uh, quick guide here. So, really? What's that it? Okay. Wow. So, it's a quick guide, just in a very um, fancy packaging. Well, that's an interesting way to do it, MSI. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. We have a 8-pin to 6-pin power adapter. That's pretty standard. Uh, this GPU does come with twin 8-pin power connectors, which we'll talk about. That's all there is for the accessory box, so let's drop all this stuff down and carry on. Just have some foam on top. A uh, thank you for choosing an MSI product. And, uh, oh, this is just to register the graphics card as well, which is what you're going to want to do. And then we have the GPU itself. So as you can see, this is the uh, plastic cooler model. And there are uh, two other models right now. You can get one with a, a limited edition one, which is still air-cooled, but uses a metal cooler, uh, metal on the outside. And there's also a liquid-cooled version. So let's open this guy up and take it out. Okie dokie. Let's have a look here. All right, so first impressions, uh, since obviously I've done this quite a few times with lots of AMD cards, uh, there's quite a heft to this. This is a pretty heavy graphics card. That's something I've noticed straight away just now. This is definitely heavy. It's like a giant reference RX 480 cooler. Uh, <laughs> that's for sure. And yeah, it looks pretty nice. This is a very good looking graphics card. Actually, I really like the reference cooler on the RX 480. Um, but yeah, that, that's maybe that's just me. So let's jump in and talk about the specs then. So what do you actually get with this GPU? We'll start with the GPU itself then. So it's obviously coming with the 14 nanometer Vega 10 GPU, this being the 64, although the 56 gets that GPU also. It's coming with 4096 stream processors, which is the same as what you got to, on the uh, Fury X. It has 256 texture units, which again is the same as the uh, Fury X. 64 ROPs, that's where it gets its name from, the 64 there, that is also the same as the Fury X. Now what isn't the same as the Fury X, aside from the uh, GPU, <laughs> remember that Fury X was on uh, the 28 nanometer process, so this is down to the 14 now, is the clock speeds. So the base clock speed on this guy right here is 1247 megahertz. Remember the Fury X was limited to 1050 megahertz. That's quite a big bump up, but the boost clock is significantly high. That's 1546 megahertz. So that is quite a bit higher there. Now let's move around and talk about the memory then. And that's also a big improvement over the Fury X. So it's coming with eight gigabytes of HBM2 memory at 1890 megahertz. Now, if you can remember back, the Fury X only had four gigabytes of HBM1 memory, and that was at 1000 megahertz. So that is a big change there. Uh, that was the biggest complaint I remember people saying about the Fury X was the four gigabyte uh, VRAM. That was an issue for a lot of people out there. 
Now let's talk about TDP, and yeah, it's pretty high on the uh, Vega 64. It's coming in at 295 watts. Whoa! I mean, the Fury X came in with a 275 watt TDP, and people are like, wow, that's crazy. To keep in mind, uh, the uh, GTX 1080 Ti, which is a very powerful graphics card, that has a 250 watt TTP. And the Vega 64, spoiler alert if you haven't seen already, uh, doesn't really come that close to the GTX 1080 Ti, which is still significantly faster than this graphics card. Well, but with all that in mind, let's talk about the cooler a little bit more then, because they have made a lot of changes from the uh, RX 480 version of this reference cooler. So, obviously it's bigger, it's pretty much the same design overall, it's just, you know, sort of enlarged, which is good to note. It also has a much bigger and improved vapor chamber on the inside, so that's going to be good. It also has the bigger 30mm fan here, which is going to be nice. These models, blower style coolers, are quite good in the sense that they intake the air through the fan here and then they uh, dump it out the back of your case at the rear here. That's going to be really good for people that have cases which don't have very good uh, airflow because it gets rid of all that heat out the back of your case, whereas non reference designs usually just blow all the air around inside the case, but they usually are better in terms of cooling the GPU itself. So with that in mind, let's go around to the power then, and you see, wow, okay, so two 8-pin CPU power, uh, GPU I should say, power connectors there, above it, those little lights, they light up, that's like what we saw on the uh, Fury X, that's quite good to know, and if we go around to the rear I.O., we see that it has triple DisplayPort, I assume that uh, this is DisplayPort 1.4, and an HDMI port, I assume that is HDMI 2.0. Uh, that's definitely what I would think is going on there. And then up top here we have a little switch. It looks like above the Radeon logo there, that looks like what we saw on the uh, 290 and 290X and also 390 and 390X, so that's quite interesting. I'm not actually sure what that does. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comment section down below. I literally just got this guy, so I decided to put this video out because I have to get into the testing. So please forgive me if I've glossed over some things. But yeah, that's my uh, first impressions here, looking at the card. Very nice. This is pretty much what you will get if you purchase one of these graphics cards right now. I go out to your store if you can find one that is because it's just so hard to come across. I feel very lucky that I, that I actually got this one to be able to do this unboxing video and of course the showdown with which is going to be what I jump into right now. So yeah, showdown will be going up this weekend. It'll be this Vegas 64 going up against a GTX 1080. So let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be testing a bunch of stuff just like usual. What do you think will win? Do you think it'll be the Vegas 64 or the GTX 1080? And which card would you rather purchase right now from everything you've seen? The Vega 64 or a GTX 1080? I'd really like to know what you guys think. Now I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel Tech Showdown so you catch that showdown as soon as it drops. And as always hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time.